What up, comic fans? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today we're going to talk about the unsung heroes of the standard hardcover comic world. I know these are not books that people generally pick up. Most people are looking at Omnis, Deluxes, Absolute Editions, and rightfully so. They're beautiful books. But let's focus on some stories that only got collected in a standard size hardcover. Because there are great stories out there that you can only read in a standard hardcover size format or a regular comic size format. So let's take a look at five of them. Them that I've got. These are one and done books. Um, so let's take a look. Before we get started, folks, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. You can wait until later in the video if you want to, but I guarantee you, you're going to want to subscribe by the end of it. So just do it now. Hit the notification bell. It'll let you know when we post a new video. Also hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. Check out Dr. Squatch. They are a sponsor of ours. Uh, there, We have a link down in the description below that will get you free shipping with your subscription. What do they do? They're a soap company and a men's healthcare product company, but they use organic ingredients. None of the parabens and chemicals that you get with store brand uh, soaps and, and cleaning products and whatnot. So uh, check them out. It's a subscription service, like I mentioned. So once a month, you'll get a new bar of soap. They have really cool scents ranging from beer to whiskey to different kinds of you know, natural scents as well. It's really awesome. Also, if you're interested in the, the opportunity to win a hardcover comic, uh, deluxe, an omnibus, an absolute, depending on how things go, um, there is a, a Patreon we have started where we are doing monthly hardcover comic giveaways this month. Uh, the winner will receive the Harleen hardcover. Of course, as we grow the books we get, we'll get better and better and better as we have more patrons. But uh, for $1, you get a chance to win a book at the end of every month. That's it. Just $1 gets you a chance to win a book that costs far more than a dollar. So if you're interested, there is a link down in the description below with more details. Now these standard size hardcovers. So uh, I was always a person that followed creators. Um, I would follow a good story. And unfortunately with hardcovers, you don't always get the perfect uh, version of the book that you'd like, right? I would love to see uh, the White Knight stuff that Sean Murphy's doing in absolute format. I would love to see Doomsday Clock in absolute format. We would all love to see John Burns Man of Steel in omnibus format, but you can't always get what you want. So sometimes you get stuck with a standard size hardcover. Now, I'm not going to talk about any standard size hardcovers that are a, a, a set. Um, I'm going to talk about mostly one and done books here, with the exception of one. Uh, volume but mostly one and done stories here so you've got like an OGN pretty much or a collection of a, a mini series wow uh, or something along those lines right so um, l let's get into it I tried to include a whole bunch of uh, different publishers here so it should be fun um, the first book I wanted to talk about is Wonder Woman the True Amazon uh, this was a book obviously published by DC Comics written and uh, drawn by Jill Thompson Jill Thompson um, it is not, you know, she's not super, super mainstream. Uh, you may have heard of her. Uh, she's worked on Sandman. She did artwork for a bunch of fantastic Sandman issues. She also did a book at Dark Horse that's very popular for younger, younger kids and teens and families in general. It's called Scary Godmother. Uh, there's a hardcover for that as well. I think I have it on my shelf somewhere behind me, but that's also available too. That's by her written and drawn. So she wrote and drew this colors, all of it, the whole deal, which is fantastic. Uh, and, and the story is uh, basically, a, a, you know, it's another origin story for Wonder Woman. We've all seen it before. But there's a little more context and detail to it in this version. It sort of follows um, a similar path that Greg Rucka took, but, you know, this came before Greg Rucka's run. Ex except for the fact that you don't get any Steve Trevor here. You're mostly dealing with Wonder Woman and, of course, you know, Hippolyta, the other Amazonian women. And you get to really see uh, how Wonder Woman grows up, how Diana sort of learns along the way, every step of the way, even up until the point where she essentially becomes Wonder Woman. And it's really, really, really well done. The artwork is fantastic. It's extremely beautiful, painted, gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. It's a shame it's only in the standard size hardcover because it would have looked fantastic oversized. There's some great action sequences. There are a lot of great morals and great lessons to be taught in this book, which makes it another great Jill Thompson book for the family uh, and kids to enjoy. Nothing too dark. It's a light, it's a light title, but really, really good. And as far as I'm aware, this is the only way you can read it. The one book that I made an exception for is Southern Bastards. The reason I made an exception for it is because there was supposed to be a volume two and we haven't seen it in years and years. 
but we did get volume one this collects the first eight issues of the image comic series i believe there are like 20 issues out now so we could easily have a volume two collecting nine through 16. the book itself is really really damn beautiful it's it's a little thicker than like this wonder woman book but it's very solid very well put together and it's got it feels as southern as it possibly can there's uh you know the front the front and back uh, end pages uh, have that sort of plaid uh, plaid look to them it's really cool in terms of the story uh, and artwork you're getting a story written by it's, it's written by both of these gentlemen uh, Jason Aaron and Jason Latour are the creators on the series Jason Latour handles the artwork Jason Aaron more so the writing uh, Jason Aaron, uh, Jason Latour actually did uh, draw and color this his colors are fantastic it, it looks really great his artwork is very unique I really like his style uh, it's different it's very different and it fits the book perfectly it's got a very southern vibe to it they both of the gentlemen working on this title channeled the south really well and they they both have experience with it that's where they're from so the story is about a county in alabama craw county they're basically uh, you know a small county their biggest thing is football their team uh, the running rebs have been you know champs for a really really long time there's a lot of history with the football team and how it pretty much is a football county right that's their big thing is football like like you know like a lot of places uh, in the states and even you know i'm a canadian so i'm sure there's a lot of places in canada where hockey is like their you know the thing that the the town gets together for but really really nice hardcover the story is brutal this is definitely not something to read as a family it's uh it's brutal it's honest it's about people finding uh redemption in themselves and moving past their history uh their family ties uh things that have been haunting them for years and years it's really really well done really powerful and as with most image titles you can fall in love with the character creators will take the, uh, that character away from you you could absolutely hate a character and creators will make you change your mind uh, or, or at least make you understand their motivations and why they are who they are this this book alone these eight issues do both it's 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 incredible i highly recommend checking out southern bastards if you want to keep going and keep reading it further and further because it's a fantastic series i just wish we would get that damn volume two a little cool thing about this book too is you get some of uh, jason aaron's uh, i believe it's his mother's recipes for some some southern dishes which is really cool a really nice touch to the hardcover collection this next one is from dark horse the complete doc unknown i know it's a bit thick to be a standard size hardcover but it collects the entire doc unknown set of comic books now i don't know too much about the origin of doc unknown and honestly at, at the end of the day with this hardcover it doesn't matter because this hardcover is what you need to pick up it's excellent if you're a fan of hellboy or anything mignola verse pretty you know a lot of titles similar to that it's it's a world you get thrown into and you start finding out details about characters uh, villains show up and villains start to create groups it's really cool it's really cool there's a good intermingling of past and present moments and this doc unknown himself is a character a very intelligent man I, I believe he's a doc he is an actual doctor too but he essentially went and trained with with monks for a little while iron fist style and uh, came back to fight crime and we see him sort of go through He's weird. He fights a lot of supernatural crime as well, which is really fun. It, it adds another layer to it. Uh, it's a really fun character, and the the character of Doc Unknown himself is really really awesome. He's uh, a positive character and um, very inspirational. The whole story is great. You will get emotional. You'll get happy. It's it's, it's really well done. Uh, I, I highly recommend checking this out. I do need to uh, give a shout out because I don't know these creators very well. Um, Fabian Rangel Jr. and Ryan Cody. They did a fantastic job. Uh, this, it's a quick read, unfortunately. That's my biggest complaint with it. But you're getting a little mini bus here with a, a bunch of content that's a lot of fun with great artwork in a nice, consistent universe. Got a little more DC here. Now, I'm going to say I know. I, I have a few standard Marvel hardcovers, but a lot of them are sets like uh, Miracle Man, Supreme Power. So I don't want to mention those. 
um, because they are sets of books and I wanted to talk about individual books. And speaking of individual books, Superman American Alien, it's a series I don't really hear people speak about. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's written by Max Landis with a, with a whole bunch of artists, really, really incredible artists. Uh, Max Landis is, uh, I believe he, he wrote um, Chronicle, was it? I think Chronicle was the movie he did. He wrote a, a series at Image Comics called Green Valley um, not too long ago, a few years ago. So he hasn't done too many comic books, but he's done a little bit. And I really liked Superman American Alien. It's a story about Clark Kent more so than it is about Superman. You get to see Clark Kent from uh, childhood grow up to, you know, become Superman and become comfortable with being Superman. It's really awesome. You get to see characters like Lex Luthor jump in. Lois Lane is in there. How could she not be? But you get to see folks in Smallville as well. You get to see uh, the, sort of the dangerous things Clark encountered in Smallville before he became Superman. You get a list of really, really incredible artists working on the title like Jai Lee, uh, Nick Dragata, Tommy Lee Edwards, a whole bunch of incredible, incredible artists. Joel Jones, Francis Manipool, Jonathan Case, Jock. I mean, just a, a sensational list of creators, right? So this would have been a really awesome book to at least get in deluxe format just for the artists. I mean, come on. But not only that, you get a really great story that pairs up with fantastic artwork. I know I, rec I recommended the series to Matt when it was initially coming out and he thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, it's great. It's a different kind of book. It focuses more on Clark Kent and the day-to-day -day activities, but it's really cool to see Clark as a teenager being sort of awkward before he's like this, you know, Superman, this ideal, this uh, perfect, uh, near perfect being, you know, uh, acting all, all polite and stuff. It's really cool to see him, you know, being horny and all that stuff. It's great. It's really, really cool. I highly recommend checking out Superman American Alien. And this last book, um, I, I think... I don't know if I'd say I saved the best for last, but this is uh, this is truly an incredible story that you can only get in a standard size hardcover. It is Dark Knight, a true Batman story. This is by Paul Dini with artwork by Eduardo Riso. What a story. So this is basically the story of uh, when Paul Dini got uh, mugged and assaulted when he was working at uh, Warner Bros, working on the Batman animated show. Basically... I'm not going to give away all the details because there are a lot of details uh, within this story but he was you know walking home uh, after a date and he got mugged by two guys and it 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 it, cr it cr crushed his spirit it honestly crushed his spirit and you get to see that in this book there's a lot of emotion uh, from paul dini in this book he really examines himself as a person from a, a young age to you know up until even now until his current stage in life and not only that but he's uh, doing sort of this autobiography, but you've also got as a basically uh, a result of, uh, of his the way his brain works, you've got all these Batman characters showing up and cartoon characters showing up throughout the story uh, as you sort of see them influence his thoughts and his behavior and his ideas as he's dealing with this situation. It's really well done. Eduardo Riso, this is one of the best things I think he's ever done from an art perspective not only because his pencils are really, really, really good, but the way he varies his coloring style and his finishing process is fantastic, depending on where the story is. At points, it feels like that, st that classic Eduardo Riso comic style, like you see in titles like Moonshine or 100 Bullets or the Batman stuff he's done with Brian Azzarello. But then there are moments where he's got these beautiful painted figures. You've got like Paul Dini looking all... all as photorealistic as I think Eduardo Riso can get him. Really, really spectacular stuff. And it's great to get some insight into a creator's mind. I wish Graham Morrison would do one of these uh, just to sort of go over his life and have his own creator owned characters go over things with him. It'd be really cool. This is a fantastic story that gives you a great perspective on a person who's given many of us, many of us through Batman, the animated series and comics that he's written and other animated shows he's worked on. He's given us a lot of joy and a lot of fantastic moments and memories and uh, I highly recommend picking this up it's a fantastic story that you can only read in this format but all right people that's my uh, those are my five recommendations for standard size hardcovers that you should pick up because it's really the only size format you can read these books in uh, these stories and they're all really fantastic stories that uh, 
a lot of people, everyone should experience. Um, so what are your, what are some standard size comics or hardcovers that you have that you really enjoy that you would recommend to me? Um, are there any that have not been collected in other editions that you wish would be, uh, you know, similar situation to these books? Let us know down in the comments below. Let's start a conversation. We always love uh, talking to you guys. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, if you enjoyed the video. This is what we do on a daily basis. Uh, videos like this. Um, be sure to like the video as well. It really helps us out a lot and we appreciate it a lot. Lot. Lastly, check out Dr. Squatch. They are one of our sponsors. They are a soap subscription service. The link down in the, the, the description below will take you to their website where you'll get more information, but you will also get free shipping on your subscription. And lastly, check out our Patreon. A dollar a month gets you a chance to win a hardcover comic, deluxe, omnibus. You never know. Check the link down in the description below for more information. Until next time, as always, thank you all very much for tuning in. You stay classy, internet.